you guys doing? I'm Andy with Mighty Soldiers Trades. Uh, today we're going to be going over the Trade Station 10 platform a little more. Um, first, we're going to go jump right into it. Uh, it has been brought to my attention that with the charts set up, I didn't go over how to make sure that you have pre and post market. Remember, there's additional risk with pre and post market trading. Um, and honestly, don't do as I say or do as I do anyways, because I do some pretty risky stuff. Like I keep it on day plus all the time and you can't use stop orders. Um, so just uh, remember that you need to do your own due diligence. Um, let's get right into this. So you're going to right click the chart. You're going to click time frame, and then you're going to go over at the bottom of that or uh, this here. You're going to go to sessions and then you're going to click on US stock with pre and post market sessions if you want to have pre and post market. I personally put mine on 24 hours. And now that being said, uh, you do that on all your charts unless you are copying one particular chart. And another thing, um, that being said, I'll go over it real quick here in preferences, desktop, sessions. For me, I put my session at 24 hours. By doing this, um, that makes me set at day plus at all times. And again, that makes it where I can't use stop orders, but it makes it really easy for me. So, so my platform is not switching from pre-market, you know, from day plus to day and then back to day plus. All right. And then over here we have the, uh, I believe with trade station, they call it the trade manager. All right. So right here, the trade manager, and, uh, we're going to set up our columns on that. So for our orders, which we have it on right now, we'll right click settings, hit the columns here. And I pretty much, I don't want any of these here. I mean, you can keep the time in there if you'd like, it is valuable, but um, real estate's the name of the game. So spread is not necessary. Quantity is necessary. Uh, symbol type quantity quantity filled uh, quantity quantity left uh, the stop I don't need that in mine the route I don't need the duration I do need group name triggered by advanced I don't um, the order number you can have it in there you can even have it to where you can scroll down if you'd like a lot of these things, just move up what you need. Like I like to have the account there. So I know if I'm in my uh, shorting account or my cash account, my margin account or cash account. Anyways, um, all that you can leave in there and you can scroll over, but that'll get you started. And then obviously we're going to have to resize these. They really don't need to be that big. And then however many shares is how, how big you're going to need to make those. And then let's see what we can do as far as that. And um, you have to change it up. It might make it longer or shorter. Uh, you can scroll over and you can see your account. Copy window, paste window. All right, so you can put that right next to that if you'd like. And this one is going to be for your positions. For positions, you're obviously gonna to need to see what stock. Um, you might wanna know if you're long or short. Your average price is definitely necessary. Your last, uh, let me see. So let's go into settings, go to columns here. Your count could be necessary, it's up to you. So there you go. We have a simulated uh, trade here with TBLT, tough built. 
And anyways, you can rearrange these however you see fit. And um, that should get you started with, uh, with the trade manager as well as, again, time frame, sessions, and choose to make sure that you have your pre and post market on your charts. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andy with Mighty Soldiers Trades. Come check us out. Hi, I'm Sarah with Mighty Soldiers Trades. We really appreciate your support. If you like that video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.